seven months before his term on Cincinnati Council is set to come to an automatic end. Democrat Wendell Young is facing up to fighting a felony. Indicted by a grand jury for allegedly and deliberately destroying evidence of wrongdoing, he vigorously denies criminal intent. Wendell has, uh, has, has uh, previously maintained his innocence and intends to do that in a court of law and, uh, and litigate, litigate the matter aggressively. The single count of tampering with evidence stems from the so-called Gang of Five investigation. Young stands accused of knowingly deleting text messages considered evidence sometime between January and October of 2018. A serious crime like this, it doesn't matter whether it's committed by an average citizen or a public official, we're going to pursue it. Prior to elected office, Young spent a quarter century as a Cincinnati police officer. He is the fourth city lawmaker to be hit with a criminal charge in the past year. I don't know if he'll win or lose, but it's embarrassing for the city. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters told WLW Radio's Bill Cunningham today, this is serious stuff with potential prison time. Wendell Young apparently has chosen his defense is going to be that this is political, which is nonsense. The special prosecutor asked if Young deleted evidence on purpose. The evidence at the trial will basically establish that fact. Young's lawyer, after talking with him this morning. He's heartbroken. No one wants to go through this. He's had a, you know, 50 years of service to the community. Um, if convicted, the max that Young could face would be up to three years. He is required to appear in court for arraignment sometime next week. Live at City Hall, John London, WLWT News 5. And John, as you mentioned, we've kind of seen this movie before, and this has been the case now the fourth time. The big questions arise, will he remain on council? Republican Betsy Sunderman calling on him to step down. Do we know what he intends to do, John? We, we don't. He has not said yet. We do know uh, this, Mike, that if he uh, resigns voluntarily, he has designated fellow Democrat Chris Seelbach to name his replacement. If he is suspended by the state attorney general, that would fall once again to Judge Ralph Winkler to select who would fill out the duration of the term. All right, John London, live tonight at City Hall for us. Thanks, John.